do the same with the other. You may notice when we put the filters on that this flat area is much larger di a much larger diameter than what is necessary for the filter. Well, that's because in case in case you find another filter that fits these, you have the room the room to uh, put a bigger filter on. Again, I know a lot of you guys are just going to do this by feel, but But you're supposed to torque them, which is what I am doing. All right, got that one. Then we do the same thing. Okay, you probably noticed a change in the video. Darn camera. Batteries died in it. So. From where uh, we just left off, I just needed to finish torquing that fitting. So, you grab your spin-on filters, set them on there, and uh, throw them down. Now, you may notice that one, I'm not putting any oil on those gaskets, and I'm just spinning them on. Well, all right, that's because it's just for display purposes. There you go. I do not run these filters. These are Napa 1794 filters. They're big. They cost a little bit more. There's no need for them. These are what come with the kit because people think they have to have huge filters in order to do the job. I run a different filter that incidentally is a lot cheaper. So that's what I use. Now what I do is I squirt a little a little oil around there. That makes it look good. This is also part of the reason why I'm not too worried about the steel being exposed. And now, I wonder where I did with my rag. But in any case, these filters are 1794s. I use 1060s. They are a lot smaller filter. They are the same thread. Notice no wrench. Never use a wrench to put your filter on. Once it touches down, give it a quarter, a third of a turn, give or take. Now, I don't need to grease or lube that up because I did the base. Same thing. Put them on there. Spin them until they touch down. And then give them a quarter server turn on that. Both these filters are 21 micron versus the original cartridge filters are 32 micron. They filter the oil much better. Both these filters are rated, these 1060s and the 1794s are rated for the up to or excuse me, 11 gallons a minute. Due to the setup of the system here, that's 11 gallons here, 11 gallons there. 22 gallons a minute. Your oil pump is not pumping that much oil. The threads on these filter bases are 13 sixteenths by 16 thread. There are a lot of filters. These are the two type I use. I do use these sometimes, but not often. But like I said, everybody thinks they have to have a huge filter. These are smaller. They do the job. Worst case scenario, it, you, you don't think they're going to do a good enough job. Your oil pressure gauge will start to drop showing your filters are plugged in. Ten dollars, give or take, right now for both these filters. Spin them off, change them, put new ones on. Don't even change the oil in the engine, just do the filters. These incidentally have the anti-drain back valve. Using these filters, when you start this engine, you have almost instantaneous oil pressure to the engine. These, however, do not have the anti-drain back valve. Though you still get oil pressure a heck of a lot faster than what you do with them. 
filter. So there you are. Anything that I might have forgotten, <laughs> you have already seen or will see uh, added as text in the video. So there you have it. Spin on oil filter adapters for two and a half five ton multi fuel G 742 and G 744 with an LD, LDT, or LDS engine. Thank you. Hope this helps you out.